Uh, welcome. So today we are having a session of a part of our webinar on Rao Ketu. Uh, this part is about the Kal Sarva Dosha. I think Sir will not be taking this in class. He might just touch on it briefly. But today he'll take it in uh, deeply with every uh, perspective. Sir, welcome. We can start the session. Yes. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Good morning, all sir. All of you online Good today. Morning, I want all of you online Good today morning. on screens. Start with the prayer. Hari Om. Gananam Tva Ganapati Bhavamahe Kabim Kabina Bhavasravastamam. Jeshtaraja Brahmanam Brahmanaspata Anashanman Nodipasi the Sadhanam Pranodhivi Saraswati Vaje Birvajini Vadi Dinama Vitraya Vadu Ganeshaya Namaha Saraswati Namaha Sri Guru Pyo Namaha Ari Om Om Harpasvahat Satsuvari and Marko Devasidi Midina Pachoda Aditya is home, I Mangalai, Budasha, Gurushu, Prashani, Pistara, who came with him home, Nagat Vajai with Mahe, but must hide the meat and no Rahu Pacho that I should be died with Missoula's tied him in Kate the Pacho. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Okay. I think looks like the same team we attended the class. I can see all very similar faces. Okay. This is Kalasti. Okay. This particular picture I put in the beginning because. For Kala Sarpa, there are many temples for uh, Sarpa Dosha, but for Kala Sarpa, this is the only exclusive temple. And this temple is not for other Sarpa Doshas, like many people think. It is only for Kala Sarpa. This is a very effective Vayu Stala among the Panjaboga Shiva Stala, the Vayu Stala, especially the people who have Kala Sarpa Dosha. This uh, temple is uh, very, very powerful. It is in uh, Kala Hasti, Andhra Pradesh. Okay, this I like this. I was just reading through it, so I just like this. I added this particular slogan. It is very much related to uh, the uh, Kala Sarpati. As soon as you give it all up, you can have it all. As long as you want power, you can't have it. The minute you don't want power, you'll have more than you ever uh, uh, dreamt to pass it. This is an effect of Kala Sarpa or a very strong Ketu also in the 10th house. This will give this kind of effect. I've seen many people who have Ketu in the 10th house or a Kala Sarpa, especially a Kala Mrda, having this particular effect. Uh, can you mute the thing? Because I'm mean, just hearing them small, small noises. Yeah. Okay. We just start with some, uh, some. I'll just read out some what other people views and I'll give you my own views with the example. So I just give you what, what. See, Kala Sarpa means time in cosmic and Sarpa means serpent. So Kala Sarpa therefore means the serpent of time. There are 12 types of Kala Sarpa, but there are supposed to be about 288 variations. See, no reference can be found in any of the classical texts like Brihat, Parasura, Hosh, Shastra, Brihat, Chadagas. Nothing is there. Vidhi will try. The voice. Yeah, uh, I think I'll take this off. Like something wrong. I have to get a new mic. Okay, now you can hear me, ma'am? Yes. Is it clear? Yeah, the only thing, uh, your, uh, your sound is not very good. Okay. Uh, no reference can be found in Elia. Okay. Uh, yeah. See what I tell you. What mainly what Kedraman said. Respected very close to last set. Kala Sarpa has its bright shades. It, uh, it is said to make one industrious, hardworking, aware of his one's ability. Despite mental restlessness, it raises the native to top positions in their respective fields. Provided, of course, other Adi Yogas are present. Rahu Kedu access favors rise in uh, mundane life. While Kedu axis indicates elevation spiritual matters. It is also found that Kala Sarva Yoga natives get betrayed by trusted friends and even relatives, suffering due to developments of life strengths, the mind, and mellows one outflow. This is a blessing of Kala Sarva Yoga. It occurs, this is all not my view, is what, what uh, B. Viraman is saying. It occurs to me that undue importance need not be given to Kala Sarva. The view held by some astrologers that Kala Sarva Yoga affects longevity and it adversely affects the operation of Hade Yoga, thus favoring rise and play. Achievement account is not tenable. We'll have, we'll have, we'll see. If this is uh, true, we will we'll see in the discussion. The overall assessment of the horoscope is important. No single yoga, including Kala Sarva Yoga, is capable of marring or making a horoscope. This is views. We will we, we'll analyze on this aspect. In our view, Kala Sarva Yoga plays an important role in mundane astrology. Very, very strong. Yes, it does play a mundane role. But if it, if it 
has an effect on mundane astrology, why does it not have an effect on human affairs? This does not mean one need not exclude KSY totally. KSY is a pattern. It can be judicially, uh, used judicially to understand many dimensions of the horoscope. I'll uh, okay, I will mention a few, a few hints by astrologers Barbara Vijay and Lama regarding KSY. See, according to Barbara Vijay and Lama, uh, uh, Kala Sarbha Yoga emphasizes opportunities to gain social mobility and desire for privilege. Kala Mirda emphasizes Kedu's instruction regarding the witness perspective and apathy towards attachments. Psychologically, KSY may produce a pattern for self glorification, Rahu, mixed with self mortification. Kedu. Emotionally, there can be a deep con conviction that one has been a chosen. This is very important. I've seen this very, very strongly. You know, uh, uh, people with Kala Sarpa think they are very special. Uh, they are a chosen one or they have a particular destiny. Uh, this is I've seen very strong. We will discuss in the chat. As an, as an agent of higher destiny, this conviction supports both unusual risk Rahu and unusual uh, detachment. Care. I've seen in terrorists, most of the terrorists having this particular uh, uh, Kala Sarpa. Uh, Rahu always wants to be wants to go higher. Kedu always wants to disconnect. KSY in, imposes a particular higher frequency oscillation of attraction repulsion cycle. This is very, very important. Most of my discussion will be on this particular how this high frequency oscillation attraction repulsion discuss. Okay, this is just an example chat. See, this is an example of self glorification. Moon in the eighth from Rahu. I think all of you all know what is Rahu, Kala Sarpa. All planets seem to be between Rahu or Kedu. If it is going towards Rahu, all planets are going towards Rahu, it is Kala Sarpa. If all planets are going towards Kedu, it is Kala Mirda. Some people say this is uh, uh, Dosha, uh, Kala Sarpa Dosha. And if it is going towards Kedu, it is a Yoga. I don't think both are very similar. Some uh, Both are negative in, in nature. The only thing, uh, Kala Mirda can have a psychological impact on the person. Can be spiritual if some certain planets are involved, uh, or it can have a strong bearing. Most of the psychiatric questions I've seen are more of Kala Mirda, not of uh, uh, Kala Sarpa. Kala Sarpa is more material oriented, they are outgoing. Uh, either it can materially block or it can be materially very elevated. So we will see. I'm just giving you an introduction. So this is, see, this is a pattern where everything going towards Rahu, it is more of self glorification. Okay. Yes, Eve, I will take some doubts of them. So this is, many people say there's no classical reference to Kala. I'll give you a slogan. There are two Kala Sarpa slogans. See, one it says, all planets, but here where the, the Kala Sarpa sloga says is, all planets end in between Rahu Kedu without forming a chain. So at most, it, it says, it is like a Graha Malika. When all planets are continuous, within two, four to five houses, and either side of Rahu and Kedu, this is what this, this particular slogan de defines as Kala Sarpa, one particular slogan. So it, what does it say? It is like five, four or five houses and one side Rahu and one side Kedu or Kedu and one side Rahu inside. This is particular slogan defines that. This one more slogan, we say Agre Rahu, Ato Kedu, Sarve Madhye, Ritagraha, Yogam, Kala Sarpakam, Nirpa, Sasya Vinasana. When all planets aim between Rahu and Kedu, it is called Sarpa. Uh, Kala Sarpa, which results in the destruction of the rulers and, fo and food, food crops. So it is bad for the country when there is a Kala Sarpa. We are showing an example when, when we had a Kala Sarpa during uh, Corona, how it was affected. Okay. Okay. We are, I'll explain to you one thing which Prashant Trivedi explained. I'm just highlighting it. Uh, divide the halves and two halves. In this method, what uh, you say it is like the planets moving towards Rahu is the solar half, and the planets moving towards Ketu is the lunar. So he says the solar half are very assertive, self self reliance, uh, are very outgoing. What is it? It depends on what what planets are there, or if it, many planets are there in the lunar side, it's supposed to be gentleness, compassion, fostering. But this is. Very, very general. So it depends on in the lunar half, let's say you have Sun, Mars, Saturn, uh, 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 then it will be totally different. And, and in the solar half, you have soft planets like Venus. So you have to understand it accordingly. Uh, what is it? I'll talk about more uh, about this in the class. Like how, I'll give you an introduction how this. So the basic division is towards Rahu, the solar half, towards uh, Ketu is the lunar. So it, it is like a solar and uh, 
the lunar division. So this is like example, this is early Monroe's horoscope. See most of the planets, this is not a Kalasarva horoscope, but I'm just telling the division of the thing. Most of the planets, uh, if you take the Rahu Kedu influence, from moon to Mercury, it is all moving. She has all the planets uh, moving towards Rahu, only Saturn in this side. So it is a very strong solar influence. You know she was very flamboyant, glamorous, known for her uh, looks. But if it's not this particular, just because it is in the solar half, it does not mean what is say it gives this particular energy. Uh, so the meaning is what is it? Uh, uh, what is anything in the solar half makes you extremely very extrovert. Then naturally, the other aspects of the horoscope must be seen. So, planets in the right side of the horoscope towards Rahu can be very strong, very extroverted, very outgoing. By, while planets in the other side of the zodiac are introverted, uh, uh, what is it, more in, uh, in a, uh, used for meditation, spiritualism, for um, uh, these kind of aspects, we are used. So if it is a nice set of planets, it can be good. If there are negative set of planets, uh, it can act accordingly. So you need to have, she has the moon, Venus, 10th house four. Venus in the solar half, she has Venus and moon in the, in the Kendra. So it made it very, very strong. So it's very, very important when a planet, which side of the horoscope, how will it function? In the side of Kedu, it is going to act introverted. In the other side of the horoscope, it's going to act extra. So this is very important. If you need to understand uh, for understanding Kalasar, one particular point. Okay. Uh, we'll come to uh, actually under, uh, understanding Kalasar, but we'll have to understand certain basics. See, Kalasarva gently means Papakat. See, with general Papakat, we all know it is one planet involving two or three signs. Okay. So, involving, in fact, according to Nadi, even four signs can be there. It is not necessarily what is say involving only three signs. But in Kalasarva, uh, let's say there is a Kalasarva. What is it? One side Rahu and one side Kedu. So, it is actually a Kalasarva with, uh, uh, by the plan plans. But not necessarily what is say it has to have this formation only it has to be during Kala Sarpa. Without Kala Sarpa also, uh, this can occur. See, Rahu is the head, Kedu is the head. The planets in either end of the shark shows the beginning and end of life. A big uh, benefit in the beginning and a benefit in the end shows a good beginning. In, let's say, what is say, uh, the starting of the horoscope has a beginning, which if you, let's say, if the planetary position has formed as a, uh, what is say, like a ma mala. Let's say an Agraha Malika Yoga is there. Four, four houses, five houses, seven houses. Check when in, in the Mahamalika, the technical rule is which planet is in the first, which planet is in the last. So if it is a benefit in the first and last, it is a very beneficial Graha Malika. But, but let's say you have Mars and Saturn in the starting and end. Even if it is a Mala, it is not very. And imagine now you have Rahu, Kedu in the beginning and the starting out. So it's very, very important to, un uh, to understand before, under before understanding Kala Sarpa, what is a uh, horoscope is more judged on in, in a pattern of horoscope, which is in the beginning, which is in the end. So sometimes it is changed, it is separated. So if, what is a, if, if let's say three, four planets are in one row, just find out what is in the other end of each horoscope. That will control the horoscope. Right. Okay. Do you all understand how this? Uh, should I explain it more better? Got it, sir. Okay, everybody understood. I'll explain. See this particular. I just see. See this is like uh, Sylvester's uh, Salem's horoscope. It's a ka kala set. So you just uh, uh, look at this particular horoscope. So it starts with Rahu Kedu. It's a kala set, right? So it starts with Sun. So this is how it moves. Okay. In in this particular flow, it ends with Jupiter. Okay, in a Kala Sarva, it, or say it's Kedu, but here you see the flow of planets, it starts with Sun and ends with Jupiter. So what I say, the starting uh, is the 10th lot and ending is the 5th lot. So all these planets are in between good planets. So this is, this is first basic understanding. Okay, so now we come to the energy balance. Rahu Kedu axis divides the chart into solar or lunar energy. So planets... Going towards Rahu shows Maya and action and good for material life. Good for material life if they are placed well. Planets going towards the so spiritual awakening or it's a psychological aspect of the inner, inner awakening or something going within if, uh, what is it? And so it's good, uh, not good for material life. It's good for an inner life of retrospection. 
okay planets are all in one side so it shows all energy in one direction so there are chance of energy imbalance if most of the planets are on one side you understand it can be easily imbalanced either too much of solar or over active solar or too much of over active lunar or under active solar or earth so this is the logic of color sarpa understand very very much why color sarpa happens just the one side like it's like the yin yang symbol the yin yang or energy is if it is flop side in one direction it can easily get affected if they are divided but the energy is sort of planet but you must know which planet should be in which side you should have in the rahu side you should have malefic uh, you should have a uh, masculine planet sun jupiter mars in one side and in the kedu side is better you have venus or uh, uh, these kind of planets so it brings out the best this is one thing so it depends on how the, the division is so the distribution of planets must be very very important which is uh, in the benefic side and malefic side this is one important thing so let's say somebody has mars saturn and moon in one side and there's other side or what is it can easily give, give a disturbance okay so let's say once in rahu side there is mars saturn and so moon is stuck up between mars and saturn in the solar side or on the other side of kedu there is venus with two other man fix mars and saturn uh, it is there it is stuck up so it, the distribution must be correct so it's very very important malefic benefic are distributed correctly so this much do you all understand this aspect then how the ba energy balance should be any doubts on this i'll explain to you see this is pablo escobar's horoscope okay uh, this is not a kala sarva so this is rahu kedu look at this horoscope he has in one side uh, going towards rahu he has venus jupiter mercury sun all very good planets so materially he was a very rich man he made a lot of money looking at the planets venus jupiter the 12th house you, you all know how he earned so but it it was positive because it is in the all planets going rahu so it is very extroverted but look at the other side a planets going towards kedu saturn mars moon see the moon stuck up between saturn and mars this is very very important what is it so moon what is it this is very very important this this i'll explain to you all more detail in the rahu kedu class with many examples understanding rahu itself only comes stems from this you, you cannot understand what is it any in fact understanding yogas and the horoscopes basic is this and understanding rahu how important is rahu kedu is with this energy balance in this rule only kala sarva also come if you do not understand uh, the right side and left side of rahu no yoga you will understand what is it this is a very big secret uh, in understanding the planetary questions what is it? i will talk about this in detail in the rahu kedu webinar i'm just give you some bits into it because i without telling this i can't go into explaining what is uh, uh, kala sarva without if i don't tell you how an energy uh, is balanced sir yeah, yeah yes sir Uh, sir what you are saying is that uh, even if the horoscope is not fully kal sarp even then it is good to see what planets see, are see, see when it is kal sarp it is lop sided right okay when it, even if it is not kal sarp you will al always have to see which side which planets are divided which are sitting there are a lot of intricate rules into this i'm just giving you some hints and what analysis intricate rules which planets must be in the rahu side which planets must be in the kedu side what kind of pattern what kind of flow what kind of yogas will happen the many many things are into this but this is but if i have to tell you what kala sarpa i have to tell you uh, uh, the division because i have to explain to you what happens if all the planets are in one side so we see the basic is what i say they must be divided if they are divided it's a balance of energy even in division it can be a negative division one all pla negative planets on one side like we saw in pablo escobar and all in negative so it should be a benefic malefic division it should never be what i say all malefic malefic in one all benefic in one there is something called katri yoga katri yoga okay. is uh, uh, one malefic one benefic one malefic one benefic varaha mira bre jadaga says this as a uh, uh, what i say uh, katri yoga katri yoga is senses it will put a person in prison all we must not have malefic benefic benefic discourse So, how do you take these planets sitting with Rahu in the same Rahu or Ketu in the same house? No, we just said the left side. Just divide it and see. It, it must be uh, evenly distributed. No, no, I am talking about in the same house, Rahu's house. 
two more planets are sitting with him, Rahu. Yeah, so yeah, which side yeah. will you take? Is it degrees? Towards, towards, uh, towards Rahu. Uh, find, find out the degree and find out if they are going. Uh, find out the degree of Rahu. See whether it is behind or on front. Yeah. yeah okay. Got it. Okay, the division. So Rahu, Kedu axis, divide the horoscope with Kuas. Lagna, Lord, see, again, this is very important. See, now you ha you can, these can separate by Kargatov. Lagna, Lord's association, it will plan. You know, for anything to happen, the Lagna, Lord, and the Chandra Lagna, you can also take the Karuda Lagna also. These are vital Lagnas, which will, uh, uh, what do you say, even, uh, you, you, you want to have children or you want to have. Shikaman, somebody. Some background is coming, my... maybe, yeah, uh, some, all somebody... can put on mute. Yes. What happened? Somebody's uh, noise is coming out. Oh, I don't know. I am not able to share. No, no, not yours. Not yours. Oh, okay, okay. Else. No, no, I'm not even not for mine. I'm saying. Okay. Okay. It is on the things when you're going to speak. Maybe Mala Thakkar. Mala Thakkar, I think, is super but, coming. But then ask questions. So it's very, very important. Yes. Just check up the uh, which planets are in uh, either side of the horoscope. So it's very important. Lagna, Lagna Lord, Moon is on one side. If, what I say, if whichever planets, car, uh, lordships are there with it, it can happen. Like if the Lagna Lord, Seventh Lord, Shukra is on one side, it will show uh, there is no problems. There is a flow or in intermixing, blending of the energy is easy. Let's say Lagna Lord is on one side, Seventh Lord is on the other side. Or Lagna Lord is in uh, Moon is in one side, Shukra is in the other side of the axis. So Jupiter and the fifth Lord is in one side, and the Lagna Lord and Moon is on the side. That is what I say. That what I, uh, it is very very important. The energy is disturbed. It is blocked. Rahu, understand Rahu Kedu like a bridge. These are like a bridge or like the Lakshman Rekha. So one must be in one side of the Rekha, and other on the other side of the Rekha. So it's all yoga is very very important. You must understand which side of the uh, axis they are. It's if what is uh, uh, something like let's say Dharma Karma the Yoga, ninth and tenth in one axis is better. You, should, you, you can't have ninth, even if it is a mutual opposition. Let's say uh, uh, one is in the fourth and one is in the tenth, but it is divided by Rahu Kedu, the connection will not happen. There are many things uh, uh, yogas uh, hidden in this aspect. This is, I'm giving you a, a, a brief up because I have to explain Kalasatva with this aspect. Okay, see this particular horoscope. It's not a Kala Sarva Yoga. Shukra alone outside in Lagna. Okay. This is a person who's divorced, who are married. See, there are other aspects of uh, affliction, the horoscope, yes. But the most important affliction which you should not miss, Shukra is isolated. There's another big yoga called isolation of planet. Single planet in one side of the uh, axis. There are many things you have to know about. What, one, what is the meaning of one planet and one side of the axis? Or two planets, three planets. Many things are there. I, I'll talk about it in the, in the way of Rao Kedu. Here I will tell you. Here Shukra is isolated. Rest of the planets from the seventh lord to the Lagna lord are on the other side. So what I say? This makes it very, very strong. See, certain yogas, what I say, uh, are ordinary or it becomes extremely, very strong depending on the axis. Even the yogas or Adosha and become very, very strong. Why Kala Sarva becomes very important is an ordinary seventh house, a malefic like Mars, or a seventh house, uh, a particular eighth house, a malefic. Then it is with Kala Sarva, and without Kala Sarva, it has a big make. Same thing, you have a particular benefit in the fifth house or ninth house. When it is with Kala Sarva, and without Kala Sarva, the yoga has a totally different feel. So it's very, very important. A simple, normal, 300 important combination, yogas of Parasari, so uh, checking them with Rahu's influence, Rahu Kedu's influence, and which side of the axis the yoga will manifest different. If they are isolated from the three, the, the way you look at the horoscope is totally different. Sir, okay. in, in, sir, in this we will say Jupiter is also in isolation. No, no. It see this part. See this in this axis. It is only Venus. So, these are all in one side. See from here. You can pick it up from here. These are with Kedu and all together with. Okay. Oh, so you are saying it is outside uh, Rahu Ketu axis, ah, Venus. Outside the Rahu Ketu, yes. So, so only one not planet is outside. And is Rahu, with Rahu Ketu. Just see, put, put a line between Rahu and Ketu. See which planet is on the other side and which planet is on the other side. Uh, okay. sir, why outside the axis of Rahu Ketu actually you are taking. Yes, yes, yes. 
Sir, and here... that's why we are saying Venus. So Jupiter is Jupiter will not be considered in isolation because it is between no, Rahu no, and it, Ketu. Yeah, it is towards Rahu. See, all the planets are going towards Rahu, no? Mercury, okay. Moon, Jupiter, are all going towards. Okay. Why are it not considered Saturn? It's uh, degree wise, it is close. It's within it, Rahu Ketu. It, it is with Rahu. It is with Rahu, no? See, even let's say it is behind. Let's say Saturn is behind. Let's say now you look at you know uh, now what is the what is in the axis you have. Venus and Saturn in one axis. Okay. Let's say you want to take even Mars and Sun or Mars and Sun or, or okay, it is not with Kedu, it is behind. Then you look at the situation. Mars, Sun, Venus, Saturn. See the situation. Okay. So the energy would be higher on the Ketu side in that case. Yeah, in case. I I uh, what you can look in the Navams and find out. But in case, let's say if it is lesser, lesser than Ketu, Ketu is higher, then it will it'll fall in this axis. And what happens with the axis? Venus is conjoint Mars and Sun. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah. Got it. But sir, uh, sir, Nila here. Sir, if Rahu is at 4 degree and say Saturn yeah. is at say 15 degree. Yeah. So, uh, how, how so shall we... Sa yeah, Saturn will be in this side of the axis. The towards Venus. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah towards Ketu. Yes, towards Venus. So, it will be, say, let's say all of them are outside. Mars, Sun, Saturn are outside. Then it will be Venus stuck between Mars, Sun, Venus and Saturn. That makes Venus versa. So, you understand, in one side of the axis, Venus is having only maledicts. We will yes, take retrograde in that case, right? Rahu and Ketu always? According to mean, uh, mean Rahu, Rahu and Ketu are always retrograde. If you take true Rahu, there are times when Rahu and Ketu can also be direct. Sir, will we call it uh, Kal Sarpa if uh, Saturn, uh, suppose say Venus is also on this side of the axis. Oh, okay, wait, wait. I, I, that's why I'll come to it. I, I, the, what is, if you understand the uh, uh, basics, you will not ask me the question. Okay. If Lagna is outside, will it call Kala Sarva? If uh, uh, Rahu Kedu, planets are with Rahu Kedu, should all planets be between Rahu Kedu? Uh, uh, I'll explain the rule. Then you yourself will understand whether what is a planet with Rahu Kedu uh, uh, in more degrees, does it still cause or does not cause? Okay. I'll explain the rule. Then this rule will be automatically understood. Because many people have a confusion. If, if one planet outside, is it bad or good? Does not matter. If, if one planet is outside, a lagna is outside. The most important logic we'll have to understand is how is the flow of planets and how many planets are on one side? That only matters. Let's say one planet is outside. Okay, this is not Kala Sarba, let Shukra is outside. But still all of them are in one side. This has an influence. What I say it does not mean if it is Kala Sarpa, you understand this logic. It is not Kala Sarpa mm. which is important. It is important what I say in which direction and the flow of planets are moving. Basically, you are saying intensity. Ah, so yes, that intensity. is the, most, uh, the intensity is important. So, let's say one planet is uh, 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 separate, the rest of the other planets are still there. So, maybe and we can it, say 90% of the Kala Sarpa is still there, even if one is out, kind of. Yes, and and it and and it depends on the flow of planets also. Yeah, yeah. Kala Sarpa, yeah. I'll tell you how it, it becomes negatively activated depends on the flow. So it does not matter if one is out, two is out, three is. It still can work even if it is evenly divided also. Okay. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay, sir. So, okay, got this it. This is a pattern. See, in a Kala Sarpa, all Karga terms are in one direction axis. Uh, in Pabakatira. See, the flow of planetary alignment towards the node shows the flow of light. Kala Sarva can become a dosha if the flow has malefics with the nodes or close to the nodes. All planets in one direction, the flow is very susceptible to extreme positive energy or negative energy. See, this is like a grit. Understand, this is like a very strong grit uh, in, in this. So, what I say, if the grit is beneficial, the whole horoscope will be in a very strong energy pattern. So, if it is in a malefic uh, combination, the whole horoscope can become malefic. So, it depends on, see, Rahu Kedu by itself, where they are placed, that axis is like a strong energy current. What is it? It can influence the whole horoscope positively and negatively. And if you, but it's not Rahu Kedu alone which is responsible for Kala Sarpa. That's what you understand. Very important. It's not Rahu Kedu alone, it is not enough. The rest of the planets will have to add to the Kala Sarpa. Is the Kala Sarba going to be worse or bad? I'll come to that. Let me finish this. 
all planets in one directional flow is very susceptible to extreme positive or negative. See, it becomes very volatile. If all planets are on one side, or let's say most of them are on one side, it becomes very volatile. It can be imbalanced or if the pattern is very beautifully placed, the flow of planets are very beautifully placed, it can give a very big yoga. But let's say if the pattern, all planets on one side can be very lopsided and can be very malefic. So this is the core of understanding Kala Sarkar. The when they are in one side of the axis or even a maximum, what kind, how are they placed? That is very, very important. Okay. So when you are understanding Kala Sarva, it is very important to see which planets are with Rahu Kedu, which house Rahu Kedu is in 6, 8, 12 or 5 and 9, it means differently. Okay. And the dispositors of Rahu Kedu. It's very, very important. Who is the owner of Rahu and Kedu's houses? Where are they placed? How are they placed? And what strength are they placed? There is a particular yoga also. The dispositors of Rahu Kedu in conjunction in ve and well placed, they themselves can give a very big prajava. Wherever Rahu Kedu is there, this is uh, not exactly part of Kala Sarpa, but a part of yoga. I'm just telling you. If Rahu Kedu, they dispositors position itself can mean a lot, a, a, a very different. If Rahu Kedu, is, these two planets are very badly placed, it can totally affect the horoscope. Okay, the different types of Kala Sarpa, Anand Kala Sarpa, Gulika, Masipi, Shankapal, Padmaka, Mahapadma, Takshaka, Karpodaga, Shankarpur, Nata, Vishadar, Cheshna. See, whichever houses this axis falls, that particular house is it's going to uh, uh, influence the whole horoscope. This is the focus of, this is what you need to understand. Okay, so generally, this is our picture from the classic, Rahu Kedu in 1-7 axis exists till the 27th year. Rao Kedu axis in the is two and eight axis exists till the 33rd year. In the three and nine axis till the 36th year. Uh, on the four and ten axis till the 42nd year. Five and nine axis till the 48th year. Six sir, and nine axis. William, sir. William, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, in the beginning, you said two sloka only you get in classics with reference to culture yeah, yeah. yoga. Yes. So, where from these years are coming actually in the classics? I don't know. I, I, it's, I, it's not. It's not in Baladevika Parasar. I know not. Not those kind of classics. I see. Later, yeah, because... people who, who have made it. it is not there. In any original it is not made. All these mm -hmm. sarpa related things are there only in later works. In Nadi, it is there. Most of my rules which I'm picking up is uh, what you say. You can take uh, Saptarishi Nadi, Brigunandi Nadi. You read Brigunandi Nadi. The whole okay. horoscope analysis is based, they do not say Kala Sarpa, but this kind of division is made by R.J. Rao's Brigu Nandi Nadi. Read this rules are there in Brigu Nandi Nadi. Okay. Yeah, okay. You, the, if you read his books, the whole uh, horoscope is based on that. Right. Okay. Uh, Kala Sarpa, the cosmic serpent. Kala Sarva is a powerful energy grid. Rao's electrical and Kedu is magnetic. The force of attraction and repulsion are Rao and Kedu, centrifugal and centripetal force. You can go on to say, so what to say, uh, the yin and yang of the horoscope. In fact, the sun and moon are the actual ma male and female. The, the other side, the alter ego uh, or the inner psychology, uh, the, uh, the shadow of these two are governed by Rahu and Kedu. Okay, so it is actually Rahu and Kedu are nothing but the sun and the moon. And when the chart is weak and afflicted, the chaos can become violent and the nodes get activated very intensely and give very challenging results. A strong chart gives chaos with possibly affected chart and give very good results. The positive results are multifold and can make a person very successful. And a negative scholar server chart uh, are strong karmic depths. They hope are working out the karma. So a positive case in an horoscope is special and is a special hand of God. See, even a good Kala Sarva understand is actually been, what is saying. It is like they are very chosen people. They want to work out a particular uh, function or purpose in life. You know, what do you say? You will, you will have many, many celebrities with Kala Sarva. It, it is, see, everybody's life is this time. But what do you say? This with Kala Sarva are extra. They have some very special purpose. You will see the negative one going through a lot of difficult, very big, lot of problems. I'll show you the example there. But at the same time, you will see Kala Sarva. Uh, with eminent people, very eminent people having it. So they are selected for, for have bringing about a balance in the universe. 
what do you say the particularly god uh, uh, controls them more so instead both are controlled by a positive or a negative force see other people what do you say uh, the uh, uh, whether my life is good or not if i seem to have a free will uh, and i can do it it is a different thing but even when you are very very successful and you think what do you say you don't have anything uh, any hand in the success something beyond you Uh, uh, makes you very successful. It's a different feeling. All the people who are Kala Sarva will definitely, you can easily see there is something else beyond them. It is not uh, they in control. So that's how Rao Kedu Kala Sarva functions. Even if they're successful, they know their success is not uh, controlled uh, by their free. Okay. So the Kala Sarva positive activation. See, what is Kala Sarva positive activation? See, Kala Sarva is a one side of the axis all the planets are there so what what is very very important is benefix with rahu ketu benefix in kendra apona strong jupiter very very important where is strong jupiter and saturn matters if it is karmic saturn's influence is very very strong in in all negative kala sarva saturn's placement retrograde saturn exalted saturn Ra, saturn in a kendra to rahu ketu or in the chart a strong saturn or saturn in uh, Involving all other planets can be very very strong. So this is uh, what I say when you are looking at Kala uh, Sarva, Saturn's position is very very important. Yes, next mass, mass to bring out the other negative side of it. But most important is uh, where is Saturn's position. Next comes Jupiter. Jupiter can control or uh, passive anything. A strong Jupiter is also very very important uh, when a Kala Sarva is not going to be negative. It has to be positive. So a strong Lagna. Auspicious train and the flow of planet is auspicious. What I say, the Kala Sarva is not going to act negative. Okay, so very very important. So the whole horoscope is yes, the Kala Sarva is is like a very strong vibrant energy. Now, does it become positive for the horoscope or negative for the horoscope depending on the rest of the planets? So it is not exclusively Rahu Ketu. Everybody has Kala Sarva. It's going to be bad. No. What I say, oh, you have to go on Parigara. You have to go to this place, that place. You have to go uh, Kala Sarva. You have to, no, you, everybody. It's not the. You have to look at the whole horoscope and decide whether what I say this has activated positively or negatively. The energy can be used positively, or if it is not placed negatively, it can be negative. So the opposite of it, the negative activation is malefics in Kendra, malefics in Rahu Kedu, the dispositor of Rahu Kedu badly placed. Strong Saturn's position, Mars's position, very very important. Lagna Lord B, the flow of planet is lopsided. What is it? You can see mal malefic planets in the beginning and ending. Rahu Kedu is very very important. So usually I have seen uh, Rahu Kedu Desa activates Kala Sarva. I today I had a client. I don't know this week I was preparing for this. Every day, all this one week, only people with Kala Sarva were consulting. I do not know. But yesterday there was a person uh, who had Kala Sarva was doing very very well. Rahu Desa started last three years. He, he has no job. He is unable to do anything. And what he say? Well, he is going on doing all kind of Sarpa doshas. How to overcome this Rahu uh, effect? So I have seen Desa of Rahu Kedu activating Kala Sarva. I understand Kala Sarva very much because I have Kala Sarva in my horoscope and I am running Rahu. So what is some of the what is it? This understanding, Kalabar. I lived with Kalasapa. I know how it works all my life. What is it? And what I did all, what kind of remedial measures I've done to control the Sarpa, and especially when I'm running Rahu this also. So transit of Rahu, Rahu over natal Saturn or Saturn over Rahu can activate Kalasapa. Okay, just remember this particular. Okay, so it's, it's, I'm just giving examples of. Kala Sarva people, uh, Kala Sarva, Paul Joseph Goebbels, Alfred Hitchcock, William Faulkner, Raina Mary, Ryan Charles Potter, Ariel Shah, Andhri Bhai Ambani, Ashok Kumar, Pandar Nekir, Bhutto, Kalpana Chawla, Vipram, uh, you have Sophia Lauren, Madhubala, uh, so, so list I'm not going to mention to you, okay, and this is the Kala Mirda uh, Yoga, about 25 people, all famous people, so when anybody sees this list, What if all these famous people are having Rahu Kedu? Uh, what is the meaning of Rahu Kedu? Then why should uh, uh, Kala Sarva is good? If so many people from Jawaharlal Nehru to Rajneesh uh, to Deepika Padukone has it, then Kala Sarva is not bad. Why should it be bad? What I say, and, and eminent people can be bad. This is the usual logic. What I say because uh, there is a may everybody keeps quoting uh, K N Rao said uh, 
Kala Sarbha does not work. He did not say Kala Sarbha. He said, don't pay too much of attention and say uh, Kala Sarbha absolutely bad. You have to analyze the horoscope totally to find out Kala Sarbha can be bad or good. You can see so many horoscopes uh, where Kala Sarbha is definitely affected. But there are opposite you will see from uh, uh, Donald Trump is having Kala Sarbha. He looks like he'll win the next election. That's the situation he, uh, it is. He's, he's not an ordinary Kala Sarbha. He's born on during an eclipse with the sun and moon in the horoscope. And he's already president and looks like what I say, he can win the next uh, election. That's the scenario. At least he's standing for the next election. What, what are the Kala Sarbha? Then you will say Kala Sarbha, people can easily jump to a conclusion. Then Kala Sarbha does not exist. If you can become twice the president of uh, USA, then what's so that's what I'm telling you. Understand, it, it, Kala Sarbha by itself is a very strong energy. What I say, whether it is activating the positive side of the horoscope or the negative, it can be. So you have to judge the horoscope. How is it activating? Only then come to a result whether it's going to be good or bad. Okay. Let's see. So let's start with some negative horoscopes. This is Ted Bunty. I think Ted Bunty, you will know, is one of the serial killers, major murders he has done. You look at his horoscope and say, what is it? This is not Kala Sarba. It is something else to the horoscope. Yes, there are afflictions. So many planets in Scorpio. Let's see Saturn karmic planet in the 12th house and retrograde. So many planets in Scorpio activated. It is this, not this alone which is activated. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Okay. It is the Kala Sarbha which has made this horoscope many fold worse. It's just not, odd, not, not an ordinary single murder. 30 murders. This is because or you will see this either Kala Sarbha or Rao Kedu influence or Scorpio influence in all serial killers. You will definitely see. And mass involvement will be there. Saturn, Mars, Rao Kedu must be in, uh, involved and the lopsided influence. Mostly you will, you will randomly see this Kala Sarbha uh, affecting very, very strongly in this. Or we'll go. Do any doubts on this horoscope? Yes, this horoscope easily you will know the Scorpio influence, but it is enhanced. All planets are going towards K. So it's the psychology which is affected very strongly. The person is mentally disturbed. So I think, I think in my opinion, all these serial killers are affected by some higher forces, some negative force takes out. I don't think anybody can be this mean to murder 30 people. An ordinary person, I don't think so again. Either if some negative force is over them or the planetary positions are so bad which makes them go this place. Any doubts on this? Sir, uh, one question here. Yeah. Um, some of the planets are actually ahead of Ketu. So they are... That's not matter. With... That's what I'm saying. They okay. are in the influence of Ketu. Okay. They are with Ketu. No? So they are influenced. So it seems, don't get it technically. Or to say they are uh, planets beyond, is, is it uh, the Kala Sarbha? No, it is influenced by the uh, serpent, that's all. So don't worry if it is with or without. Even if it is without, it is with Rahu Kedu influence. Like I'll tell you, in a particular horoscope, I'll tell you one more Rahu Kedu scene. You know how many houses Rahu influences, Rahu Kedu influences? If you take aspect, the 5 and 9 and 12 aspect, 7 aspect, it is there. If you, okay, you know, Rahu Kedu does not aspect. We all know, in, according to Nadir, wherever Rahu Kedu, we are in a train from a planet, it affects. Even if you don't accept, people say Kedu does not have aspect. But Kedu on a train to a planet is affecting. What is say? Rahu Kedu, planets in a Kendra and Kona from Rahu Kedu are strongly affected by Rahu Kedu. So let's say if a, a, if a chart has Kala Sarva with most of the planets in only in train and square. And especially the planets in Trine and Square are malefics. Rahu Kedu not only has Kala Sarva, it is strongly influencing the horoscope. And if it is in Trines and Square, malefic planets, it's negatively afflicted. So it is a Kala Sarva domination over the horoscope. So you must see, yes, a Kala Sarva itself, there is a strong influence. But if they are in Trines, it becomes more worse. So look at during a Kala Sarva, if there are any planets in a Kendra to Rahu Kedu. You will, you will see definitely Saturn and Mars in most horoscopes in Kendra to Rahu Kedu. There's one more rule. I, I, I'll explain to you in the, in the class maybe now how important is the drain, how important is the square. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I have one question. Yes. Uh, that if more planets are going towards Ketu, uh, yes. should we not think of it as where they are making the person more spiritual? 
depends on which house Kedo is, which influence Kedo is, whether it's going to Kedo is a malefic planet. Kedo is only spiritual if it has Jupiter in it. Or Kedo is a very psychotic planet. Without Kedu being a trine to or Jupiter's aspect to Kedu, Kedu can be very negative. So only consider Kedu as benefit only if it is has Jupiter's aspect. Kedu without Jupiter's aspect, it, it is more like a withdrawal. It withdraws, abandons, it leaves, it moves away. It what to say, it's like a black hole, it absorbs everything out. It can become spiritual only if there is Jupiter in trine to it, or at least in Kendra to it. It should be there. Uh, Jupiter having no influence on Kedu when you look at the horoscope, it is totally different. So, uh, not always what you say, uh, Kedu uh, can be beneficial. The spiritual effect of Kedu is only activated uh, by Jupiter. Kedu in Jupiter's house uh, or Kedu in Kendra to uh, uh, I mean, Jupiter and Kendra to Kedu or in a trine. So, if they are 6 8, then it is not activated. At least Kedu should be in Sagittarius or Pisces. Mm -hmm. See this particular order is for suicided by Hagi in 1994. So she was pre actually pregnant and she went on. See this particular horoscope. Now, okay, this is a Kalasarpa horoscope. Okay, uh, why do Kalasarpa? Look at the horoscope first. It is Lagna, Lord is nature. Though two benefits are there in Lagna, that this first is nature. Okay, Jupiter is weak. Is sitting there and it is inspired by Rao Kedu. Understood. Saturn is strong, retrograde Saturn. Uh, it is start as an eclipse chart. So, Moon, Sun, Kedu in the 12th house. Moon, Sun, Kedu. Just understand this horoscope. In case if this was not Kala Sarpa, what this would have been the mean? Okay, should have been a psychologically disturbed person. But when it is uh, Moon, Sun, Kedu in the 12th house with Kala Sarpa, the intensity of the mental damage is very, very high. So it led her to, to have suicide. Let's say Jupiter and some other two planets were this side of the axis. Okay, so that, what I say, the division you, you, it is because of this, this but a weak Lagna, strong Saturn, no Jupiter respite, this Kala Sarpa, especially for falling in the 12th house, uh, it's activated very, very bad. So you, you what I say, it is, let's say the Kala Sarpa, uh, the Rahu Kedu is influencing everybody 30%. Now, in this condition, Rahu Kedu will become 100%. Okay? You understand why it has become more? See, let's say if you, you analyze this horoscope without the Kala Sarva aspect, you can say she is a mentally disturbed. You, you, I have many people who are Moon Sun Kedu or Moon Sun Rahu uh, are not half suicidal or mental cases. Very uh, serious schizophrenia, bipolar cases. I have a chat next to I'll show you. What is it? But not suicide. This is uh, what is it? A particular chart. When it is with Kala Sarpa, it can damage. The Kala Sarpa need to be carefully analyzed. It can damage a horoscope very, very badly. Every dosha in the horoscope is multifold when there is Kala Sarpa. Okay. See this particular horoscope. In fact, I have a, both the sister's horoscope and father's horoscope, all of Kala Sarpa. But their lives are normal. They are living okay. But this twins, actually they are twins. Kala Sarpa. Look at it. It's a bipolar, unmarried, no job, psychologically. Big problem for her mother. Even today. She is 1982, still today. Not doing anything. Uh, one of them is taking medication. Is It is under control. One is not taking medication. It is absolutely under control. One day she is nice. Another day she goes off. So, so disturbed. Look at the horror. All going towards Kate. You can see all these psychological problems. Planets moving towards Kedu. So it's very, very strong. Kedu and Lagna. So Jupiter Mars looks like it's in the 11th house, but the dispositor Venus is in the 8th house. So the main reason bipolar is not because Rahu, Kedu, or Kedu and Lagna. Moon is weak. When Moon uh, is in the 8th house, when, uh, during a Kala Sarva, what happens? Many people will see horoscope with Moon in the 8th house. They are not bipolar. They might have a disturbed mind. But when a Kala Sarva, as moon in the eighth house, the meaning is different. And look at this horoscope. All the planets are influenced by Ra. Saturn is in the Kendra. So it is squared by Rao Kedu. Mercury and Sun are in trying to Rao Kedu. And Sir, most can you appreciate uh, if, if planets are with uh, Rahu Ketu in a case of Kal Sarpa? 
planets which are which, which planets are there in which house if it is a benefic there in a benefic house what is there it will it will make it so yes, find out which house if it is in a good house let's say in the fifth and ninth house jupiter and venus are there it's a yoga but yes, it, let's say jupiter and venus in the six a twelve uh, in a six and twelve it is a different thing we'll see i'll show you certain horoscope that but sir uh, okay sir just i'm just parking my question if that is the case if planet the planets which are uh with rao ketu the planets which are in kendra and the planets which are in trine how how to differentiate uh, the the outcome I, I, yeah what's the strength of the planet take it take it as the strength of the planet I, i'll explain to you I, i'll explain first that you asked me this question very important I, I i have um, what is a different different formats accordingly okay so this you you, you understand oh, look at this particular person nelson mandela you know i think 25 years he was in jail so everybody knows his horoscope why uh, just because three planets in the eighth house uh, he was see the color sir where it is from 6th and 12th house very dangerous and ketu is with a 6th lord which is very very important mars is in a kendra saturn is in the 8th house okay now look at the color sir for okay he became the president this a different thing in a different vessel so look at the flow of planets also it is very important understand flow here very very important yes the three planets they cause a become very bad because the color sir was happening in the 6th and 12th houses added with uh venus being with it. you asked me what what one planet being with it now if the sixth lord eighth lord twelfth lord or a malefic is where it can make kala sarva very tough okay this is different variation actually i should actually give you 100 examples to explain kala sarva but so any you... thing which you can talk on jail in jail yoga in this case or it is not related to kala sarva i i can get you what Sir Nelson Mandela, the jail oh. yoga which he had, he was in jail for so many years. Planets in the eighth house. Okay. See, twelfth lord in the tenth house. Rahu is in the twelfth house. Okay. So uh, you you see most of the lagna lord in the seventh house. It's a margastana. Where is the dispositor? Dispositor is in the eighth house. So you will see all most of the dispositors in the eighth house. Saturn, Saturn, Sun, Saturn in the eighth house with Mercury. And lagna lord looks like it is nice in the seventh house, but it is in a margastana. Uh, mass uh, mass is uh, in the tenth uh, house of karma added with the planets. See, this is Harshad Mehta, hundred billion stocks kept from eighty to ninety, and he has suddenly died of heart attack. It's a kala sarpa, but look at the kala sarpa which is formed. It has happened in the fourth and tenth house. Look at the pattern. See, see the pattern. Jupiter, Mercury, Moon, Sun, Venus, Saturn. You you can see the flow of planets. A planet's very beneficial flow, so it it and malefic. You are ending with mass. See, it's very very important. It's not the beginning. Find out what is the ending planet, not with Rahu Ketu or even before Rahu Ketu. That will tell how your end, uh, life ends. So where it starts with and how it ends, that particular flow you will have to understand. This person, okay, this is he made very big hundred million crores. He at least must be living twenty years. He was uh, living in uh, in a different lifestyle, but at the same time, what is he? He was got. And then it, uh, what do you say? Uh, stock scam, and then suddenly a heart attack. He passed. This is a Kala Sarpa yoga. See, it's not what do you say? This amount of hundred billion dollars is because of Rao Ke Kala Sarpa only. See, Rao Ke do by itself, not necessarily Kala Sarpa. Any planet with Rao itself can ascend to it. You will see in the class how Rao Ke do can make the richest uh, 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 person billionaires. You will all most of them see. You will not see a proper planet. Panch Purusha Yoga, Dharma Tantra Yoga, or any other yoga giving big yoga. It is only Rahu or Vipurita Raj Yoga will give big yogas. One more you add with even a Kala Sarva can, so what is it? Make you very, very big beyond thousand for thousand crores. You want those kind of amount? Only Rahu will give. Or what is it? Uh, uh, one of them is also Sarva. Sir, another. how to decide from where the pattern is starting? Okay, see all planets. See this is a. Kala Sarva, all planets going to Rahu Ketu. You look at from here, from Ketu, Jupiter, Mercury, Moon, Sun, Venus, Saturn, and Mars ending with Mars. See the last two. What are the last two ending planets? Mars, Saturn, Saturn, Mars, Rahu are the ending. This is how life will end when this is the fact. Okay, this is assassin Lee Harvey Oswald. Most of the assassination people I have. Oh, very very similar patterns. Look at the horoscope. It's a Kala Sarva. 
Okay. Mars exalted. See planets. Jupiter, Saturn in retrograde. Saturn, retrograde Saturn, Nietzsche Saturn with K. And Ju Jupiter is also. And all these planets are with Ra. Okay. See the pattern ending. How the pattern is ending? Mars, retrograde Jupiter, retrograde Saturn. Okay. Sir, I have a question. Yes. Uh, now, in uh, uh, some people say that because Ketu and Rahu are retrograde planets, mm -hmm. suppose in this chart, we will say that all planets are between Ketu and Rahu, not between Rahu and Ketu. Can't take it. Does not make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. No. You can simply say, just for your definition, to this actually there was only Kala said, but Kala, Kala Marada is the latest invention. You can say Kala Marada. Uh, both has the same sense. I do not see uh, Ka Kala Mrida is better or Kala Sarva better. The only de demarcation is the psychological or spiritual aspect is there in Kala Mrida. In, in Kala Sarva, Rahu is more strong. Here it is, yes, it is Kala Mrida moving towards all planets are moving towards. It's a Nadi road where, where planets are moving, uh, which is a planet, immediately a planet is going to cross. We'll have a big say. It's not necessarily Rahu came. If, uh, even two hours uh, uh, after that, if Mars or Saturn is going to be there, uh, you know, it can have a big bearing to Horus. A particular rule, let's say with uh, Scorpio Lagna, uh, let's say Jupiter is, uh, you are having immediately, the uh, next two, three planets are malefics are there. The starting life will be difficult. Oh, look at this particular Horus. Jailed many times. And each time jail, it went on for many years. Look at the horse. Nietzsche moon. Jupiter is the eighth lot, retrograde in Lagna. Okay. He was a very rich guy. So the ninth lot is very strong. All planets moving. See how the planets are moving. Last two planets, Saturn and with eighth lot, Jupiter. See, this is a lopsided horoscope where the planets and I, uh, other side of Kala Sarva affects the yoga very well. Nietzsche, moon, Mercury in the 8th house. ninth house is very strong. Then Saturn, Saturn, strong, karmic. If you have Kala Sarva, most of the horoscopes see Mars being, Mars, Saturn being very strong, either being exalted or in the uh, in a Kendra or a truck. You will see Mars, Saturn being very strong. This will activate Kala Sarva differently. And you, you will see 8th Lord with Rahu and Nietzsche Mono Kedu itself has made Rahu Kedu very, very bad. Sir, this is only Kal Amrit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, no, no, it's all going towards Rahu. Don't no? take it like this. See, just understand Kala Sarva Mamadha, see, like this, which is going towards Rahu. If it is like this, going towards Kedu is Kala Amrit. Okay. And sir, Jupiter will not be considered as going away from Rahu because it's retrograde. You can take, yeah, it is going. If you analyze Jupiter separately, it is different. We want to analyze Jupiter, when you, like we are going to understand Guru Chandala Yoga, or Jupiter and Rahu in one side, it is what is it? Then it is, you will understand it different. But here it is with Rahu. See, this is a, a Kala, what is it? Uh, horoscope, no clicks. Look at the horoscope. Actually, fifth thousand is not very strong. We're not very seriously afflicted. Fifth Lord is in the fourth house. So there is no major affliction in the horoscope. But still he does not have kids. In fact, he has no job also. He has some uh, parental property. So he lives with it. His wife is very sickly. But somehow his life he has, has a house. He has no problem. But nothing great. No child, nothing. So the, the, what is the reason? There's no Kala Sarva in the horoscope. Nietzsche Rahu in Lagna, his lifestyle, he has a lot of relationship he has. Saturn is squared by Rahu Ketu. It's a very important yoga. I'll explain to you all in class. But in between Rahu Ketu, if it's Saturn, that particular planet cannot function at all. So it is a Kala Sarva yoga with the square of Rahu. And so Saturn along with either Rahu or Ketu is equally bad or when it's Depends. 90 degrees, it's... It depends, it depends on Rajdigan's horoscope has 
Saturn with Ketu. It depends on see which house Saturn is. Take that as Lagna and find out what is the lordship of that particular planet. Yes, from Lagna and for Sajigan, Saturn is in Virgo. So Saturn becomes the fifth. Okay. Look at this horoscope. Father dies in an accident when she's four months old. Ninth house Ketu. I have uh, many horoscopes. Ninth house Ketu. Father will abandon. Father will leave him. Or there's no connection between father. Well, always very very common. But see, the question is: Is it just the ninth house Ketu alone which brought about the death of father? Ninth house with Ketu with Kala Sattva. See, that is the thing. Most important and mass from the fifth uh, ninth Lord mass Ketu is in the fifth house in trying to fit. So either way, the ninth house and the fifth lord is strongly influenced by Ketu. So when you have the lord, the house and the lord strongly influenced by Ketu with Kala Sarpa. I have many horoscopes, ninth house Ketu. Yo, okay, the, the relationship with father is bad or father leaves them and go or father is always living abroad. That's, uh, that, uh, it will not mean father passes away. But if with Rahu in a particular house in Kalasarpa, it will influence the horoscope for the good or the bad very strongly. So here the ninth house Ketu has totally different meaning. So then oh, what is it? Four months, why she must pass? Father must pass away. Sir, if uh, instead of Saturn, Jupiter was in the square pa position, then uh, it would be different. Yes, it will support, but then Jupiter is also stuck. Okay. Sir, Sun in 8th from Ketu denotes what? Like, uh, no, no, usually what is I told you, oh, what is it? Sun and Moon actually what creates uh, 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 what is it? The Rahu Ketu self. The Sun and Moon's relation is very, very important. You have to see in the horoscope. Most of the horoscope, uh, if Sun and Moon are badly placed from it, can activate the color circle very well. A strong sun and the moon is very protective influence. But you see sun and moon 6 a 12 in the horoscope or 6 a 12 from Rao Ketu can activate the Kala Sarpa very day. Okay. Here it is in the ninth house. Sun is in the eighth from the ninth house with Ketu being in the day. You will always see uh, uh, very bad for father. Fourth house will have many plans. Especially man. Okay. See this person. Very rich person. Multi-billionaire. Uh, uh, activation of Kala Sarbano, it happened in Rao Dasa. I'll give you one example. When Kala Dasa, he was doing very well, top of the world, the moment Rao Dasa picks up, he picks up anesthetic uh, leprosy. You, you can see why, it, see, look at the pattern. It, it, it goes well. Jupiter, Saturn, Moon, Mercury, Sun, Venus. So this is Kala Sarbano is very positive for it. Extremely very positive for it. But Rahu, what is a Rahu is in the sixth house with the sixth lord. Or what is the rest of the planets were not influenced. But the moment Rahu with the sixth lord, which is already during Rahu, the, the uh, Kala Sarpa meant differently. The Rahu the self meant differently. Imagine picking up leprosy. Sir, one is uh, Rahu's Dasha, but the another point is in which all planets Dasha, Rahu's Antar Dasha will hurt. Or go negative. Ah, that I should tell you the weapon. <laughs> See, Rahu, I'll give you one thing. Rahu, 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 Desa, Kedu, Andar, Desa, Kedu, Andar, Saturn. Uh, this will be weapon. Rahu, Mars. Malefics. See, Malefics. All Malefics coming with Rahu, Kedu. Very good. I always see Rahu, uh, Rahu, Saturn, Saturn, Rahu. Where they come, can be the worst. Uh, during mass, this uh, Saturn, this uh, Rahu, K, the mutually these dashas can be there. Or dasha of say second lord or uh, seventh lord. Yeah, that is also. But then I uh, uh, K and Rahu is written a book. Rahu, Saturn, Saturn, Rahu. Book's title itself is that. Hmm. Oh, he just explained most of the horoscope. What happens during the worst period in one's life can be during Rahu, Saturn, or Saturn, Rahu. Interesting. Both karmic plans. Most important, biggest karma in life will happen. And another is in the end of Rahu Dasa. End of Rahu Dasa, Rahu Dasa, Mahasanta Prasa can be very good. 
So subsequently we can also take the pratyantar and all those things. Yeah, yeah. pratyantar also. Yes. Let's know how many negative we see. We, let's look at the other side of the horoscope. So, this is a Kalamrada horoscope. Swami Chinmayananda. You know, Chinmayananda, uh, what is it? Uh, all the Upanishads, Bhagavad Gita, and all Shankaras here. Uh, here Vedanta. Look at the, uh, see where is Kala Sarbha forming? Kalamrada is forming in the ninth house. Ladna Lord, ninth Lord, Kedu in the ninth house. And see the see the flow of planets. Jupiter in the fifth, strong Jupiter, sun exalted. Okay, see this, see this very, very important. See the flow of planets. Now see how, yes, because he's a sun, yes. Somewhere the Kala Sarbha is still affected. So you want to say he's not a uh, free person, but still in, in a positive sense. In fact, in uh, being a spiritual person, that, that way Kala Sarva has been very very So you can see the Kalamrada. This is Kalamrada. Spiritual horoscope, typical spiritual horoscope. As, especially in the ninth house. 70s, 80s, 90s, I mean, anybody attending Chinmay and this Bhagavad Gita lecture was very special. It was very, very crowded. I, I think it's one of the best commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita of Chinmay and this. My favorite. I have many favorites. One is Chinmay and this. I think the first one I read was very good. All is this. Look at Javan Nanle. First, for a question on Swami Chinmayananda. The yeah. planets here moving towards Ketu uh, kind of indicate the movement towards Sanyasa, is it? Yes, yes, very, very clear. See, Venus, where is Venus? Venus in the eighth with Saturn. That is one. Seventh law afflicted. There's a Parivatana between Mercury and Venus. Seventh day. Saturn and Venus together. Strong Jupiter is well placed. And most important, see is Lagna Lord. Lagna Lord, Nietzsche, in the ninth house with Ketu moon. See his ninth house influence. Mars, moon, Ketu. Aspected by Jupiter. Extremely very strong uh, ninth house. See, added with Kala Sarva. That is the most important. He could have been just a spiritual person. See, this right, spiritualism right. amplifies because of the Kala Sarva. Look at her first prime minister, Jawaharlal. Till 56 years, I think how many times he went to jail and uh, uh, freedom struggle he, he finds. And the moment after six, 56 years, he's non-stop 16 years, he's the prime minister of the country. This is a very special Kala Sarva. It is Grahamalika Kala Sarva. It's Grahamalika with Kala Sarva. All planets from Rahu, Hu, Ketu are non-stop. You will never see an horoscope that way. I very rarely see in this kind of pattern. From Rahu to Jupiter, all the houses. Planets are sitting there. And it ends with Jupiter. So he had first half of his life. You know, he was in the freedom struggle and in jail many, many times. And then it went on to make it next 16 years. The Prime Minister of the country also. So you should not say what is it. Uh, Jawaharlal Nehru has Kala Sarva, so Kala Sarva is ineffective, it doesn't exist. Do not jump to such a conclusion. Look at the pattern of uh, how the planets are flow. Moon, Saturn, Mars, Mercury, Venus, Mercury, Sun, Jupiter, ends with Jupiter. The ending part of life, it ends with Jupiter. Sir. Yes, sir. Sir, here one thing what I am trying to understand is that... Uh... All the planets are going towards Ketu. Jupiter yeah. is with Ketu. Yeah. So, uh, he should have been more of a spiritual person. No, so, no, that's, see, it is, it's a lunar influence. He's, he's Katak Lagna. And you, you know the traits of uh, uh, Nero, no? He was not an outgoing, right. strong. He was a very soft, gently, loves roses. All these kind of person. The lunar side of the uh, uh, was dominant. Did not necessarily be spiritual. Understand it as more as lunar. Don't take it as spiritual. Understand, that's what I'm saying. Don't take it as Kedu alone. It is lunar or solar. He's an, uh, what do you say? He's a, a, a more of a gentle person. He's not like uh, Subhash Chandra Bose. He's more di a diplomat. Very, uh, a very, he's a very good diplomat. He used that trait very nicely. Okay. If, that's what I'm saying. Spiritual, it has to be in the ninth house. Like Chinmay Amita. So the planets are finishing where it's ending. The Ketu is in the ninth house. Here, Ketu is in the ninth house. He was an atheist. Jupiter, Ketu in the sixth house, aspected by Mars with Saturn in trine. Jupiter is crushed. He was a non believer of God. So it is very good for, the mod for his modern views. No? 
maybe for the starting of an uh, India uh, starting, it was good. Destiny put him, uh, it was very good. Oh, look at Rajnikanth's first. His movie is at 72. His movie, uh, latest movie, sir, Cross 708 and Cross. He started acting, he was a conductor. He was a conductor till his 26th year. 26th year, Rahu Dasa starts. What do you say? He becomes an actor. And from that, no stop. Rahu, Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury Dasa is running. Mercury Dasa, he is still doing stuff. Look at the horoscope. It's very, very important. Yes, Kalasarva is there because he was a conductor. He was a normal, ordinary person who was a con the conductor. But Rahu, in the eighth, and it stops. Look at no, look at the flow of planets. Sun, Venus, Mercury, Moon, Mars, Jupiter. So, see, it's beautiful. When you see a superstar, one side of this, very, very important. Look at the flow of planets. Sun, Venus, Mercury. If not for Kalasarva, you, you see a horoscope, you, you must know the flow of planets. It's also for you. You see the uh, starting. See, the starting of the horoscope, Ketu Saturn. His humble beginning was there. But then look at the flow of horoscope. So this kind of flow is totally different. The meaning and how the Kalasattva works is totally different. It, it, this see, this is like an energy grid, vibrating energy grid. If it is a positive combination, it increases the energy flow extremely very much. If it is negative, it will uh, disturb the what is it, uh, planetary motion very much. Like what is there is starting and ending why we are seeing from Ketu to Rahu opposite direction or depends depends on which flow is the planetary positions are there it can be if it is all the planets are there take it the other way here it is all the planets are going towards Rahu and the surprising thing the first it was Rahu Desa and most of them knew his first move is he acted as a villain villain is even till today they will say he's more good as a villain than the people yeah, the villainish touch or that action hero touch was there. Uh, some the villain is uh, always there. Very fa famous for his smoking and drinking styles. Smoking styles, drinking style, sarpa. All these sarpa effects, no? How he throws a cigarette. You see Rahul they throw. And you know what? All his movies, if a snake appears, that movie is a super duper hit. So they used to put a snake scene will be in the movie. There will be a snake scene and the movie will be a super hit. And whichever movie, uh, it was a sentiment to bring a snake in the, uh, in the sex scene will be there. And if there is a snake scene, the movie will be a very big hit. And in fact, I've seen his initial movies. I don't know. Con it, they said it was consciously done. The movie's name will be Kali, Batra Kali, these kind of names. Uh, uh, Rahu's Adi Devatas. This is the starting movies which he acted. Very, very important to understand. Kalasa. Okay, look at Donald Trump. He's going to stand for the next election. What is it? And look at his horoscope. It is a different horoscope. Eclipse. One more combination I will tell you. How a, a, a Kala Sarba can get activated. A Kala Sarba, a person, there is an eclipse and a person is born within two, three months. Okay. So a Kala Sarba, eclipse, not necessarily on an eclipse day. This is an eclipse day horoscope. He was born on an eclipse day. Let's say there, there was an eclipse and the person was born within one or two. So you will see sun or moon uh, before or after. So an eclipse horoscope, uh, Rahu Kedu's eclipse, you see, in a year, there are four eclipses. You will know an eclipse when sun, sun is very close to the Rahu Kedu. So if, if, if an eclipse occurs, it is visible in your country, and not necessarily you must be born an eclipse. You are born even within three months, the eclipse is still active. That kind of Kala Sarpa is very different. Very activated, and an eclipsed Kala Sarpa is very, very different. So it, uh, it can make it. So you must understand. You must find out. Very difficult to find out your, whether the uh, eclipse you can see and immediately find out. Sun and moon together with Rao Kedu is eclipse. But did it, was it visible in your country? You must go and check out. So this is a hard, not necessarily must be born eclipse. Even one month, two months away, it is still effect. So that Kala Sarva will be absolutely different. You will have to find out. Okay, look at this particular chart. Sun in the Rahu Sun in the tenth house, exalted Rahu in the tenth with the Lakna Lord aspected by and see his lifestyle. See the flow of planets. Sun, Mercury, Saturn, Venus, Mars, Jupiter.
So the strength of the horoscope, law of planets, it's very, very important. See, it's Martin Luther. He was assassinated. But what is he? He was a very spiritual. I had a dream. You know the speech? I have a dream. It's what is Martin Luther's dream. Look at the horoscope. See his horoscope. Saturn, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, go, ended by Jupiter, but last planet is Mars. That in the line, he was assassinated. He was a celebrity. The other Martin Luther Sr. was he who started Protestant. The Martin Luther King Jr. His planetary position is strong. Left lot is strong. Moon is strong. Mercury Sun is very, very strong. The only thing, Saturn in the 8th, aspected by Mars, Jupiter in the 12th house, Mars in the Kala Sarpa, Mars or Saturn with Rahu Ketu, very karmic, very difficult. Ending can be very difficult. Sir, of the planets which are going towards Rahu, Mars is the first planet and you yes. are saying the last planet? It, I mean. No, no, it, with, in, the, in, in the axis. With axis. It's with Mars okay, with Rahu. Okay, okay, with okay. Mars. Okay, this is George Bush horoscope. I think he was twice the president now. Of the US. Look at his horoscope. Rahu exalted, Kedu exalted. Look at the flow of lens. Parivartana. There is a very strong horoscope. Lagna is under Parivartana. If you judge the horoscope of Chandra Lagna, sun in the 11th house, three planets in the 11th house. Very, very strong horoscope. Now, and the Navansa is equally very strong. I know the Samsa is equally very strong. This is a, this is a, there are certain colors that, by, especially this Rahu involved in Taurus and Scorpio, can be very, very important. Certain houses, very, very important. So, so, like you said, 11th and 5th, if Kal Sarpa is there, it, it's up till 48 years of age. The same stands true for Kal Amrita also. Yeah, yeah, same. same. The only thing, it will be spiritual, psychological, or what is it, you can, uh, uh, depending on the field which they choose. Or you okay. can uh, take it as lunar. In Kal Amrita, the, the function is more lunar, more introvert, more thoughtful, more creative. Uh, uh, you can see a lot of musicians in Kal Amrita with moon uh, Venus combination. If the strong fifth house, uh, it, uh, just understand Akala Sarva, positive Kala Sarva brings about the, the particular combination 100 times more strong. If it is afflicted, it is thoroughly afflicted. So you could take it away. So in what kind of field, mostly you will see a Kala Mrita working different. Actually, this is a Kala Mrita, but this, this person was, a, uh, I think he was in the army. He was a totally different person. An exalted Ketu in uh, Scorpio act is acting differently. Rahu Ketu both are exalted. Very, very important when Rahu Ketu are exalted and in Kala Sarva uh, uh, is very, very important in this particular axis. You can see many people having this. Oh, this is Tom Cruise. Okay, still acting. 1962. It was the last movie or Mission Impossible. No? Of the fifth, the power, sixth, I don't know which one was it. Look at the horoscope. Venus, Moon, Rahu in the text. Venus, Moon, Rahu is Shakti Yoga. It is called Shakti Yoga. Uh, you, you have Aishwarya Rai also having Venus, Moon, Rahu in her pose. And this Venus, Moon, Rahu is not alone. It is in a Kala circle. Look at the flow of planets. Kedu, Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, Sun. Strong Lagna Lord, strong 10th house, strong 4th house, strong Jupiter. Okay, all in one side of the axis, Rao Kedu axis, and see the flow of planets. A strong chart, good flow, Kala Sarva works different. And it is and especially when Venus Moon Rahu alone itself is good. But Venus Moon Rahu in a Kala Sarva, it is tot it is totally different. It is thousand folds. Venus and Moon is like thousand folds Ucha. And thousand folds Ucha is going to be Venus and Moon and Rahu. Okay. So you understand a horoscope with Kala Sarva, it can destroy an horoscope or it can take a horoscope to a very, very different level. You will have to understand it accordingly. So a weak horoscope with Kala Sarva is different from a strong horoscope with Kala Sarva. So, 
say eclipses, I've already told four eclipses happen every uh, year, two lunar, two solar eclipses. An eclipse occurs every six months. So if a Kala Sarva occurs during, within three within three months, it's an active Kala Sarva. If the eclipse was involving Mars or Saturn, uh, this particular eclipse we had just now. We had no, we had a solar eclipse, it was not visible in India. It was uh, it's happened in Chitra Nakshatra, uh, involving Mars and Kegu and uh, what is it? Uh, Israel war is uh, happening. This is 26 December 2019 solar eclipse. Okay, this is a lunar eclipse. Look at this. It is not. It is not a Kala Sarva. Mars is not joined. But the moon. Okay? But when Mars joins the eclipse, Corona starts. See, this is this is the planetary position when Corona happened. When we what is it? Uh, they started uh, announcing. So it was. Uh, it is not just Kala Kala Sarva eclipse. Kala Sarva with Saturn Mars involvement. Together, the moment mass uh, mass conjoined in, into this aspect, it activated the other circle. So when you have an eclipse happening, see, I, uh, what's, I'll talk a lot about uh, eclipse how it uh, affects personally. But if it involves Saturn and mass, that eclipse can work. And especially when uh, what is uh, you know the Spanish flu and there are two three other if this when it involves Aridra and Mola this is one of the worst eclipses Aridra Mola uh, this particular Spanish flu now it was in the same house it was a very similar house it happened I think uh, it was the same position when the uh, uh, the Hiroshima bomb also I think Rao Tedu had a very similar position. so Rao Tedu in certain nakshatras with mass Saturn involved the mass need not be involved. Within three months, mass crosses the eclipse axis. It can be very bad. Here, yeah. yeah. then mass uh, joins, activating the Kalasan. Uh, uh, and it does. If the eclipse happens, which is not visible in your country, then it is. You can no, ignore no, it. Not, yeah, it is not affected. It's not at all. It's only visible when it is. Uh, it is visible in your country. See. The planetary position effect will be there. Definitely will be there if it's visible or not. Yes. But there are like primary effect, secondary effect. The, pri the primary effect will be there even if it's not visible. But there is an immediate effect, uh, like what I say, you have uh, the psychological impact on you. Those will not be there, but it's not visible. Most of the mundane predictions are given where it is visible, those places of the eclipse will be there. So if there is an eclipse with Kala Sarpa, it can be very bad. It's a typical example of our 2019 eclipse. It is not just Kala Sarpa. Most of the planets are sitting very close with Rao Kedu or with Rao Kedu and mass immediately joining the eclipse within the eclipse. And happening in Aridra and Okay, I'll just give you a brief up and then I'll take some doubts. Uh, this is my class we'll be doing. So we have talked about Rao Kedu Vicharati, Rao Kedu and House the Science Association, Rao Kedu Aspects, Rao Kedu and Karma, Rao Kedu Yogas, true or me, uh, as many people want to know, which is true. I'll explain it with like, examples, whether we'll have to follow through or, uh, or in fact, I'll tell you an example. The moment Rao Kedu changed, from that day, I, I'm only 20, all 24 hours, I'm only what I say, working on Rao Kedu because I work for the class. What is it? The moment it changes, I am Scorpio Lagna, Rahu has come to my preference. Putra Dosha and Rao Kedu, Kalatra Dosha and Rao Kedu, Vitra Dosha and Rao Kedu, Matra Dosha and Rao Kedu, Kursi Shraf and Rao Kedu, Abhichan and Rao Kedu, Mithi Dosha and Rao Kedu. See, from this, you should, you should you all easily understand why I took Kala Sapa and this particular thing. Without understanding Rao Kedu axis, you cannot understand horoscope at all. Rao Kedu are very, very related to no yoga, Panchama Pusha, Gajageshari Yoga. But any yogas without looking which side of the axis, without looking at Rahu Ketu, you cannot understand a yoga properly at all. You can understand a horoscope only if you understand Rahu Ketu properly. Starting is starting of this is the axis of Rahu Ketu. Then you have a, so many other secrets lying hidden. When you are only when you bring Rahu Ketu in the picture, you can isolating Rahu Ketu, you cannot understand, you misunderstand the whole horoscope. Rao Kedu coming after which planet? Rao Kedu on a square. Rao Kedu falling and trying to a particular planet. So many other roles are hidden 
uh, to understand about the Rao's. So the second day, so we have Rao Ketu on foreign settlement, Rao Ketu on professions, Rao Ketu on celebrity so, state. Rao Ketu on... Sir, in first slide, if you are saying this Kal Sarpa, then you are covering uh, uh, Kal Amrit also, right? In that? Yeah, yeah, both. Yeah, both. Both. Right. Rao Ketu on foreign settlement, Rao Ketu on professions, Rao Ketu on celebrity status, Rao Ketu on billionaires, power and Rao Ketu, dictators and Rao Ketu, spiritualism and Rao Ketu. Each I'll be explaining about you know, not less than five charts. Certain things like medical astrology, I'll be explaining more than 10 charts. Spiritualism, Rao Ketu, assassins, murder, Rao Ketu, Rao Ketu, and his, the esoteric significance. Rao Ketu access, and this I explained to you all a little bit okay. uh, what is it, the, uh, which side, I'll like, be explaining it more than 15 20 roads. On the, uh, what is it, the flow of horoscope in detail. There are a lot of secrets to, to understand the horoscope. That, that is the meaning of the Rao Ketu access and their configuration. Which side with Rao, that is a very big thing. You'll have to understand. The eclipse in Brigu Bandhu. Brigu Bandhu is nothing but uh, what is a Rahu and Moon in between that axis, or which planet falls, what uh, 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 what is a influence it has. Rao, Rao Kedu's nakshatra significance, transit and Rao Kedu, synastry and Rao Kedu. So, uh, it's not just for marriage, but it's for which wherever Rao Kedu is, the other person has a particular planet over that. Your karmic link to the person. Is called sinister. But what is it? You have a karmic link to the person. Just find out where Rao Kedu is and with that particular person and what planet he has, where your Rao Kedu can have a big meaning in your life. Genetics, all genetic in DNA, all these latest discoveries which they're doing is without Rao Kedu, you cannot understand. Why is Rao Kedu called uh, related to your maternal, paternal side and all these genetical diseases are connected to Rao? To look at the horoscope and is it you are having a karmic disease or a genetic disease or you are having uh, this is connected to Rao Kedu and the karmic connection. See, karma, Rao Kedu, Saturn together in the year. Rao is your future, Kedu is your past. It's very important to know what is your future and what is your past. Together, the horoscope unveils. No, see, this modern age, Kali Bay, age, Aquarian age, there's nothing but only Rao. Everything to see food. What food do we eat? Chinese food, Italian food, Spanish food. What do you say? What kind of dresses we wear? Tone dresses, yeah, color, this kind of dresses, music. It's not more oh, the ethnic pure music is never there. It's the modern music, fusion music, mixing. The purity is mixed and blended. The rock music, you kind of hear. So explain every aspect of it. Everybody is not does not want to live in their country. They want to go everywhere, all over and say. The money becomes different. So if it, it's absolutely Rao Kedu. The modern age is nothing. Every aspect of the age is only Rao Kedu. In fact, the world is controlled by Rao. Absolutely by Rao. The psychological impact, the other effect is then the remedies of Rao Kedu. We'll go in detail for each thing how to uh, see. We are detailed. I, I've already finished about 230 40 slides, but just for two days class. The first class, I'll be taking at least 125 slides. Second will be the same one. That's so it, four hours. I hope I finish as I still do more. I'm just working on and so I might add one or two more to the so, Any other doubts you can ask. So I'll put a summary of the Kala Sarva. Very, very important. Kala Sarva, is it there? Many people I, I put it in VV and people said no. Uh, K and Rao said it does not there. So Rao Kedu, it's a bluff, it's a cheap thing. People want to earn money by uh, performing Rao Kedu uh, that is the reason. This is one thing everybody and some people went on to say, No, I have Kala Sarpa, it affected me. I have in my life, I know how it affects sports. See, see, I'll tell you, it is neither good, neither bad. Without looking at the horoscope, you cannot say Kala Sarpa uh, is bad or good. Depending on the planetary configuration, the flow, the strength of the chart, Kala Sarpa can be a yoga that is magnificently placed, it can be the worst yoga. What a Nietzsche planet, a planet in the eighth, a retrograde planet can have a total meaning. Retrograde planet with Rahu Kedu, compass planet with Rahu Kedu, Saturn mass with Rahu Kedu, that mean totally very different. Especially a retrograde planet, Rahu Kedu, have a especially in Kala Sarva, it will be totally very different. So it is, you must have to find out is this Kala Sarva beneficial for a person or malefic for a person? Rahu, Kala Sarva, Rahu Kedu is over or yet to happen. Will happen. So it's very, very important. So it is Kala Sarva by itself, immediately all bad, your life is ruined, you have to do puja, not necessary. Look at the person's life. Usually Kala Sarva 
he, he's controlled. He, he doesn't have a freedom. It's like a bird in a golden cage. He's safe, no problem. But he has no free will, absolutely no free will. He has a rich father, mother, or a rich aunt, or uncle. He's looking after him, but he has no free will. I see many colors, but everything happens safely. But he has this no freedom of expression. It can be other way. He has all the money. The, you know, uh, you have seen the comic Richie Rich. Richie Rich, he has all the money in the, 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 the poor little rich boy. It's like one aspect of, he has everything in life, but what is it? He, uh, he is not free. That sense of freedom is never there. That's one thing. Then there is other thing, the negative color sarpa, where you're sickly, you be, it's a bipolar problem. It's all kind of problems mentally, half a murderer to another. There is negative side of color sarpa also. Even if it is positive, I will tell you, in a Kala Sarva, who's billionaire, the sense of freedom will be learned. His life will be controlled by your higher destiny, which he knows. Rajnigal knows it. He's so spiritual. He knows whatever he is there, it, it, it is not his face. He knows. So they will be easily feel it. If some destiny controls them, gives them a success. So it's still that emptiness, not enjoying what you want. I, I can have very little, but for what say, I enjoy that space. It's very important. In Kala Sarva, either way, even if they are successful, will not enjoy the success. But it, the only thing, you, you are not cursed. You are, the Kala Sarva does not mean you are cursed. You are not necessarily, you are not cursed. You, it can be positive and negative, depending on, the only thing you will have to understand, it is a very important negative uh, uh, energy grid. It should accentuate the horoscope for the good or the bad. That you will have to know. So uh, what is it? Very, very important. Without understanding, even if it does not have a Kala Sarpa, Rahu Ketu's is very important. Purpose. In Kala Sarpa, it becomes very special. You have to analyze the horoscope very, very carefully. Just a single affliction can be, can moon, I showed you, moon in the egg house can mean totally different than his Kala Sarpa. When it's Kala Sarpa, it is just a mental, he has a mental disturbances. But if it is in Kala Sarpa, it is high, high schizophrenia. Especially in trying to Rahu Ketu or very close to Rahu Ketu. So what is it? It can mean a lot. See that this is I. There are a lot more rules about Rao Ke. You will understand this when I, I finish the whole class. Then you will, you will appreciate the Kala Sarpa in, in more detail. I have I have not told you many thing of it. Many of this uh, uh, the access uh, rules are yet to be told. I can't reveal all this. Uh, uh, you, I tell you all this rule. Then you will understand Kala Sarpa more better. Kala Sarpa yes does exist, but do not take it as always bad. Uh, what do you say? It can be a, a yoga also. Even if it is a yoga, what do you say? They are controlled by a, a destiny, a positive destiny for the welfare of the world. Any doubt, doubt you can ask me. I'll answer. Uh, sir, yeah. one quick, quick question. Uh, yeah. Like we said, particular commission exists till this year of life, like 11, 5, up till 48 or something. Yeah. So after that, if the Dasha comes of Rahu or no, Ketu... No, that's this is very general. I'm just giving you some classics to give in. But I, I, I don't stick to those vocal goals. It's very strong during this age, but it depends on if Rahu Ketu comes. It can still work. But still, okay. it is supposed to wear away with age. Sometimes it wears, sometimes it does not wear, depending on the strength of the horoscope. The strength. It depends totally okay. on the strength of the horoscope. This so, works if, if the horoscope is not very affiliated. If the horoscope okay. is very afflicted, I've seen Kala Sarva affecting them till the last. Okay. Or, or maybe intensity may go down, but it does not uh, finish at that see, age. See, it's a nice, good Venus, good Jupiter, uh -huh. uh, the ages work correctly. But if okay. it is a very severe afflicted, I've seen the uh, Kala Sarva till the last effect. It is not okay, so it, uh, uh, lost. So I, amount of affliction I've overrides some, that. I've seen some Kala Sarva not affecting them until Rao Dasa starts. Okay, this starts. It, it moment it starts is totally different. Okay. As Saturn comes over Rahu Kedu or Rahu Kedu comes over Saturn, when you have a Kala Sarpa, that particular period uh, is very difficult or that will be the time till 40, it will not be. The moment it comes, it can also get active. Especially when you are running Saturn Dasa and Saturn Rahu meets. Or you are running Rahu Kedu Dasa and Rahu Saturn meets. That, that time it can come over there. Till that your, your life is normal, no control. You seem to be on top of the world. Everything is happening. Uh, for you, yes, like everybody, uh, problems are there. But suddenly, you see, when, when Kala Sarva, it's like nothing works. For Everything is freezed, frozen. Suddenly, you have a very good job, and then what is it? No job. Everywhere you try, all your level, because I know many people. He's ruling the world, he's, he's working in different countries, he's earning in uh, millions, and suddenly, call me and say, everywhere they, they have they stopped all his connection. 
the moment rahul gets start they he calls him says what to do what remedial measures to do what to do for me to be he's rich so much he has four, so many in each country he has a house and suddenly everything is peaceful this is the effect of rahul ketu no no other planet will be disconnected because rahul ketu does not control one barba it controls the complete horoscope so either it boosts the horoscope totally or it totally controls like you are going to a jail the whole life is gone it is not one aspect of life your whole aspect is controlled that is the effect rahul ketu will have on your life Thank, thank you sir yeah thank you sir looking forward for the webinar already rested so sure. yeah thank you thank you very much anybody else any other doubt sir have... yeah yes sir uh, sir i was watching this uh, uh, serial called abdul karim telgi mm -hmm. and uh, telgi had a scam of 30000 crores going on and uh, a long time ago my, i was you know this was about 20 years back or so i i read in the papers that he has a kal sarp uh, horoscope uh -huh. so just in case you find it we can discuss that also what's his name sir abdul karim telgi oh, oh that forged telgi. notes one. at least even uh, if we don't uh, get the time uh, 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 we uh, can uh, get the pattern uh, uh, time is not correct uh, abdul karim telgi ha ha he 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 did the stamp paper scam uh, yeah. very big scam this mostly see you you will see this big time scam assassinators terrorists all these big time somewhere see what is it they as if there is some other somebody else controlling the, their lives no some force or trend or to come you will see kala sarma definitely uh, having yes yes ma'am your audio is a bit weak ma'am yeah ma'am your voice is patchy Can't hear you, ma'am. Ma'am, now your voice is not coming, ma'am. No, no, not coming. One more aspect. Uh... Yes, yes, sir. sir. Whenever yes. you people are having webinar, unfortunately, I could not attend any of your webinars. Okay. I keep traveling. Actually, tomorrow also I'm going to Germany. Today I had time, so I thought, let me yeah, yeah. jump in. So when you 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 are studying, one more aspect like Bandhan Yoga or the Jail Yoga will be there in many horoscope. Yeah. But for which purpose the person went to jail? For example, we are discussing, and then yeah. that serial killer was discussing. Yes. yes. So that Would also you, needs yeah, to be seen. Yeah, that's something you have to see the influence of Saturn and Mars. See, right. Rahu Ketu by itself is not important. Without analyzing, there is Saturn, Mars. Saturn is right. Jupiter. These are destiny maker planets. Saturn and Jupiter is very important. Mars will sway the influence. So in Kala Sarva, you you cannot diverse Saturn and Kala Sarva. You have to see where is Saturn. Saturn is right. very very. You will see in negative Kala Sarpa. Saturn is can be a very very important player. A weak Jupiter with a very strong or influencing dominating Saturn. But it's like right. this mass mass is role will be. You the assassination. You will see mass is definitely with Rahu Ketu. Mass will be there. In a horoscope right. Kala Sarpa mass Saturn with Rahu Ketu in Kendra to Rahu Ketu or most of the planets in in Saturn and mass control weak Jupiter in Kala Sarpa. It is it is like. See, it is Rahu Ketu alone is not dominating. It adds or minuses many many folds the yogas or the doshas of, of the horoscope. It's an amplifier. Right. It can amplify or it can deplete the horoscope still. This is what you will have to understand. What is the meaning of Kala Sarva? Right. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Yes, ma'am. What happened? Rahu Ketu is muted. Your <laughs> i hope we, uh, everyone can hear yes ma'am we can hear ah uh, he he himself didn't know how much money he had tell ah, you tell you ah that's it okay any more questions no ma'am so we have this webinar on 25th and 2nd by mistake i have written a third but it is both the saturdays So I'll get it corrected, and hope to see you all there. Right, ma'am. Um, Thank you, sir. Excellent webinar. Thank you.
thank you sir thank you william sir this time i have connected with you, you very but much, uh, it was wonderful thank you thank you, thank you very much sir grateful sir thank you happy thank you william sir yes thank you shik happy diwali thank you shikha ji for organizing happy diwali happy diwali to everybody happy diwali sir happy diwali shikha ji thank you so much for connecting us thank you welcome thank you shikha ji thank you sir glad you put it here thank you thank you everybody wish you all a very happy diwali and a year of full of learnings thank you yes thank you